it was just trusting God in his timing and knowing and believing that um, he had beauty out of ashes for it because I don't believe that God took away our baby, but I do believe that he can turn beauty out of it. So in 2014, I married my best friend, Nathan, and um, on our two-year wedding anniversary, we got the best surprise of our life. Uh, we got a positive pregnancy test. I went to my first ultrasound appointment, and unfortunately, Nate could not come with because um, of work, but we figured there's so many ultrasound appointments coming up, it's okay if he can come to this one. So I already kind of had feelings that something was off, but I was staying positive, I was trusting in God that everything was gonna be okay. But unfortunately, this lady said, your baby is measuring almost a week small, and also the heartbeat is slower than what we like to see at this point. Um, but I was still remaining positive, but I knew something was off. So I took the ultrasound appointment home. I was told congratulations on our baby. I showed Nathan and um, I was still excited. Um, I actually went to dinner that night. I drove an hour and a half to meet some friends. I showed them our ultrasound photo, told them that we were expecting a baby. And um, I just was still excited. But unfortunately that drive back was probably the longest hour and a half of my life because I started having really bad pain and I just knew that um, I was losing our baby. So we went to an emergency ultrasound the next morning um, and there was no heartbeat. You know, that was the worst thing that any parent wants to hear is, I'm sorry, your baby has no heartbeat. And we saw a heartbeat yesterday, so we know that the baby, you're losing the baby. I just remember just bawling my eyes out in that hospital room. Um, the, the idea that was going through my head the whole time was God is still good. Like, I don't know why I was thinking that because the human nature doesn't want to think anything's good in that moment of you're, you're losing your first child. But that was a constant idea going through my head is God is still good. My initial reaction for the first few months after the loss was I just want another baby right away. But I felt like God was telling both uh, Nate and I um, trust in my timing, um, don't push something that um, is not in my timing. The week that I was supposed to be bringing our child into the world was actually the week that we moved to Greece, which is really cool how God did that, um, just because it was God's way of saying, listen, you've been doing this year of healing, um, you're, you're trusting in me as much as you can, I know it's hard, um, but the week that could be very emotionally hard, I'm gonna give you this new season, I'm gonna give you this new chapter. And then just a year and a few days after the loss, we got our second positive pregnancy test. So we lost our first baby July 20th of 2016, and I got our second positive pregnancy test on July 25th of 2017. So literally a year and a few days. I'm excited to say that, you know, I'm, I'm in my sixth month of pregnancy with a baby boy now, and he's healthy, and I feel him kick all the time, and he's our rainbow baby and I'm just so excited to meet this little boy in just a few short months. And um, it's all because God's plan is ultimately perfect and you will grow closer to God if, um, if you allow the hard times to um, grow you closer to Him. So I'm just, I'm thankful that God was with me and He's always with me. I feel like in future trials and temptations as well, um, I'm more prepared just because I've seen God work in incredible ways in something that could have been so incredibly hard, but God, um, He really healed me and guided me through it, and I'm so thankful for that.